Well, it's It's Something World. This is AJ with Tips and Tricks. One thing that I've been meaning to talk to everyone about is auxiliary sticking options, rods and brushes, and what different bass drum beaters are for us. Unfortunately, due to expenses, I can't give you a lesson that's as extensive as I'd like it. I'd love to be able to show you steel brushes, plastic brushes, different types and thicknesses of rods, and a myriad of different bass drum beaters. Although I can't be as thorough as I'd like, you know I'll be as thorough as possible with what I have to offer. First up are the brushes. I'm using the Silver Fox Foxtails, plastic fans on a fixed wooden handle. I've also switched on my snare head to my coated head I use for my beginner students to get more action from the brushes. I take my left hand using the traditional grip and flip over the grip so I can use gravity to my advantage. Start with circles making two half notes with the left and the basic jazz ride pattern with your right. Rods are just another voice or sound palette we can use on the drum set. These are the Silver Fox Claw Sticks. I use rods when the artist or producer wants a softer sound on the drums, but they still need a bit of cr attack on the mix. Like on a ballad that has a few fills, but we want to keep the overall feel kind of chill and relaxed. Here's the standard aircraft grade aluminum bass drum beater that came with my pedals. I used this because it was designed to work with this pedal and I like the weight of the throw as well as the attack and response I get from the bass drum as well as the pedal itself. You want everything to work well together. The player, that's you, your equipment and the instrument. From this aluminum beater I get a solid attack from the metal and the round shape gives me a nice fat overall sound. I find that with some thinner, smaller profile beaters that the sound profile is too focused and I don't get that robust, robust sound I like to see in the mix. Next up is my Redwood beater. It's smaller in diameter but heavier in the overall weight compared to the aluminum. The weight of the throw is incredible which makes sense because the weight is greater and makes for an insane initial attack. The overall sound is a bit too focused for me but it works for some people. I may use this if it's a very simple rock song that the producer or artist wants me to just lay down a rock solid beat and lock it in. Phil Rudd from ACDC comes to mind even though he uses the standard felt beater. Speaking of the felt beater, this was the industry standard for the longest time and many drummers still swear by it. The weight of this throw is between the aluminum and the red wood. The initial attack is the lightest out of all three that I featured, but the overall sound is very robust, easy to work with, and fits nicely into most mixes without much effort. Remember just how many factors come into play when we're talking about tone and just what sound we're getting out of the drums what the drum is made out of, wood, metal, or acrylic, what kind of batter or resonant head will you have, coated or clear, single ply or double ply, how you tune in the drums, just above a wrinkle or jaw tune-in, tight like a jazz set or somewhere in between, do you use mufflin like moon gel or gaffer's tape, what kind of stick do you use, maple or hickory, maybe brushes or rods, what kind of tip is on your stick, how heavy is the stick and how hard are you hitting, how tight is the tension on your bass drum pedal? How far is the throw? And what is the weight of the throw? What kind of bass drum beater are you using? Is your resonant head ported? Where is the placement of the white mics? What mics are you using? What cables, preamps, mixing software, and add-ons are you using? 
There are a ton of different options and unfortunately the only way to find out what works best for you is to educate yourself on what's out there and fine tune your equipment and your plane until everything's running like a well oiled machine. Thanks for watching. Next week we'll take a look at another Steve Moore stick trick I call the stick tuck. Until then live right, drum well and have fun. I'm AJ Nystrom and I'll see you next week.